best. Hello. <laughs> All right, so um, as you can tell by the title of the video, this is inspired by Cassie. Cassie, I'm gonna put her video down below. She did this video with me and it was all about like the best and worst luxury purchases and he had to pick them out. I'm doing the same with Michael. I'll link her video below. So I thought it would be a fun idea because Michael's not really into fashion although he's starting to get into it. He is, he's starting to get into it now. So because of that, I thought it'd be good to show. Uggs don't classify show. as getting into fashion. It does actually <laughs> and he's wearing Uggs and they look really cool with his outfit. He looks really good. Anyway. So, oh, speaking of, you got to do your haul. We haven't done that yet. No, we haven't. Uniqlo. Yeah, he got some good stuff from Uniqlo. Comment below if you want him to do a haul, a first ever haul of what he got, okay? So I'll see, I'll count below how many people say yes to a Michael haul. Anyway, so my best and worst finds from 2022. We're gonna do it by categories. Let's start with shoes. So the shoes are here. Are Uggs, Uggs, <laughs> these. That's what we like. <laughs> so he does like them, really. <laughs> so the luxury shoes. I'm gonna go with like the best shoes and the worst. So I'm gonna okay. ask you first. What was my and I'm including boots in this category. So footwear. Okay. I'm looking and down here because this is where this she is, has this all where of my I shoes. This is where I have them for this video. So pick from here. Some, not all, please. I know, obviously, but just for last year. So for the best shoe or footwear purchase from last year, what was the best? Focus on the best. But you can also pick the worst as well, but just don't tell me yet. What's the best? I the best. love. Ready? These. Those are the best? Yes. Oh my God, I never I thought you would say these. that. I love these. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Okay. So, if you could just rush off, <laughs> we're gonna take this in. Michael picked, actually these are badass. He picked these as the best of my purchases for 2022 for my footwear she category. so good in those damn shoes. <laughs> I love these, I must admit. These are really, really cool. There's nothing else to say. I picked this up in Milan, I remember, in the Versace in Milan. Mm -hmm. And at the time, they hadn't come out yet anywhere worldwide. They had just come out first in that Milan shop. And I do you remember the other ones that couldn't come off though? Mm -hmm. oh, they have the other version that does not have an inside zip and it's just plain, there's no buckles. You just pull it on like a sock as a tab here and here. Honestly, those <laughs> almost killed. I, Michael almost asked for a pair of scissors from the manager because I couldn't get those ones off. That was, that was several minutes yeah. of, of trying to pull and tug. Yeah, it was pretty bad. But anyway, these yes. ones, are the same these ones come on and off best easily time. yeah okay, okay best purchase wow okay but great there's a runner-up to them oh there's a runner-up okay there's a runner-up runner-up for best purchase of 2022 i didn't think these were gonna <laughs> well just throw them michael <laughs> all right try this again take two no leave it in i didn't think that these were gonna be as cool as they are wow but they actually are for 2022, runner up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, runner up. these are my Hermes. I call them my hiking boots. They look good on. They look great on. I'll show you on the cutaway here how they look on me. I've worn them on TikTok. Really cool. Whenever I wear them, I always get comments asking me where are my boots from. Definitely an investment, as in anything in this video is really. I mean, it's just you want to get your cost per wear down when you're buying these things, definitely. But these are fantastic. They are, have a slight platform to them, which I absolutely love. And they are completely lined in, I think it's shearling. And it's all the way down to the toe, leather, upper, well, actually just leather all over. And they're great. Looks so cool on, and I love them. So, wow, I'm really surprised you were gonna say these, but yeah, best of 2022. I picked these up in September in Paris. So, you know, it's not like for the whole year. It's something that just came in towards the latter half of the year. So it's interesting you pick these, but yeah. Winter is here, so I'm wearing them. I cannot not give no, these an no, honorable no, mention. No, 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 honorable no, you're supposed mention. To be, okay, honorable mention, but that's it. Cause you're supposed to be one and one. <laughs> Best honorable and mention. worst. These, these oh have history. Oh my God. This is the, this is the pulling history. But they're better now though, I have to say. They're much easier to come on and off. <laughs> anyway, so out of those three, what's the best one? Oh, definitely the first boot. Oh, the Versace. Okay, yeah. there you go. See? All right, so worst. 
Oh, wow. Shoes. Worst. Is this it? You what? got more shoes than this. No, but this is not 2022. Oh, hold on. Let me add something that is 2022. I just forgot to put it in there. Mm. But um, honestly, so these are 2022. No, these aren't. Oh, well, there you go. You just picked it up. Worst purchase right there. Are you serious? Yeah, I ain't, I ain't into these clogged things with this. No, that ain't me. No, <laughs> not me. <laughs> All right. So then Michael goes saying the worst purchase for him are my Ula Johnson tassel front clog boots i love these i think they're, they're sick anyway all right worst purchase okay so and that just goes to show that michael knows nothing about fashion moving on to outerwear so i have included jackets in that so it's jackets slash coats so michael pick and i've laid them out there's a bunch of them 2022 there's some down here too yeah what is the best the of 2022 for outerwear first but you, wow but you will do worst as well Wow. But when you say outerwear, I think she's referring jackets to jackets coats. only. No, jackets and coats. Okay. But that's what makes it difficult. Well, should I split it? Jacket. So I just do jacket. Best jacket? Okay. Best jacket. Best jacket. Of tw best and worst jacket of hands 2022. Down, hands down, the Prada puffer. I like this. <laughs> this is great because I actually put this in my best store for 2022 when I did my video. So comfortable. Oh my God. It's like... Wow, it's like putting on a bed. It, uh, <laughs> that's a good, that's a uh, very good um, it's like description. It's like you sink in it. Oh, that's nice. It's great, anyway, isn't it? I yeah. like it. I like the way it looks on it. It looks really cool. Thank you. And I love that it has a, a, a belt as well to cinch it if you want. On the very coldest of days, I wear this as my boy see me. And, okay, so best jacket, worst jacket. Um, You don't really have worst jackets. She actually has really cool jackets, I have to admit. Um, okay, so no worst. I wouldn't say a worst, no worst because if I pick the worst, I would just picking the worst to pick a worst, and I actually okay. I actually like all our jackets. Thank you. The jackets are cool. All right, so that's honesty for you. Let's yes. go on to coats, best and worst coat. Outerwear, long coats. Yeah, long coats. I have to admit, it was the very long one that she picked up when she was in Paris the last trip. That thing is sick when it looks on her. Oh, that's the best. She almost looks like. Oh, what's that movie? We, not movie. The play we went to see. Wicked. Wicked. You know what I mean? The like witch. it has that long drape where you just kind of like glide around in it. It's like a cape. Yeah. And it goes. I have to do sideways because it's that long. It yeah. doesn't even look that. It doesn't even look that long on camera. But this is super long. I'm five well, foot seven. Look. I'm five foot seven. <laughs> yeah, but they can't see the bottom bit. True. I'm five foot seven, and on me, and I've just got my UGG slippers on it pulls on the floor like a little um uh what do you call it like a little train like it flattens out and drags and on the, the floor cut of this is That's so nice barefoot. but it is it's one of those i might even have it slightly taken up because i have very few heels even the versace platforms it would still touch the ground with me having those boots on that's how long this but is it looks good. but it looks sick it's so sick. <laughs> um you can wear it as is as a coat worn open or buttoned or, and this is what they told me at the shop, it's called A Nice Piece of Vintage in Le Marais in Paris. He told me, please go to that shop, it's amazing. When I go to Paris in February for Fashion Week, I'm going back there. He told me you can wear this as a dress as well because it's so fitted that you just button it up, it's double-breasted, and just have it so like your leg is peeking out here. Super sexy, wear nothing underneath, just maybe tights and your best dreams. And that's it. So that looks so good. All right, so that's the best coat. That's the best. All right, what are you going to show them as the worst? The worst coat? Uh, unless there is a one. Well, I don't see It wasn't really worst. Many, that many coat purchases. That's the thing. Because everything else looks kind of cool. Okay. You know, and there's some basics in there too. So like, how do you say a basic is a bad purchase? You can't. Oh, well, you know. Unless it looks really weird on me or bad or something. But if it's... It can't look bad if she has it in two colors. <laughs> uh, it's subjective at that point. So, all right. So that's the outerwear section over with. Yes. So let's go on to something juicy. Let's go on to sunglasses. There's not many. I have four pairs behind me. All right. So let's show them off. All. Okay. Let's, I'll pick up these two. Ready? And... Go. Boom. Go. <laughs> all right. So... These are off-whites, Loewe, he's got 3NY, 
and these are Alexander McQueen. All right, so uh, let's do best so and worst. Best, <gasps> Alexander. Oh, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Let's talk about it. Let's have a moment. Yep. So these are the best. Why are these the best? I just love how simple and chic and cool she looks. Every time she puts them on, it's like a cross between luxury meets ski wear, right? Like, it's cool. I like that. And I do like these glasses, I will say. They're really cool. I'm just funny, I was with Cassie the day that I got these, so it's so funny that you were mentioning these. Um, this video is inspired by her. So, best for Michael, in his opinion, are my hey, Alexander McQueen's. These ones, I love these. I think they're so cool. All right. Runner West. up. Runner up. No, no. Runner oh, up. Runner, runner up. up. Runner oh my up. God. Runner, runner up. up. Runner up. Because I actually like to wear these. These are cool. So you like those? Yeah. All right. So these are by Off White. I picked these up in Paris as well. They're just simple black glasses. I like the angularness. Angularness. Angles of them. <laughs> the squared off shape. Yeah. I think. So these really are really these cool. are my runner ups actually because I steal these every now and then wear. Oh, I didn't know. I haven't seen any of those. All right, worst. Is there a worst? Worst. Or, yes, yes or no. I love how sometimes he has a worst and sometimes he doesn't. Really? Your worst? Oh, my God. On. I love these. Put them on. Let's see. Like, I look a bit like a black Elton John, but that's all right. They look good on you, but they're not like. Hmm. Too much. They're good on you. TMI. <laughs> if anything looks good on her. I don't understand how she does this. Oh god, okay. It looks really weird with the lipstick and all that. So but it's okay, just a yeah. little bit too blingy flashy slash out and John. Oh my god, it looks really weird I, like right now with the hair <laughs> and you know, but when I yeah, when I do like big curly hair and I just have these on, it's Yes, that's it's, stunning. It's a moment. That's yes. why I've always said that in these to me, I've said that hair is part of the look. So mm -hmm. I take that into consideration when I'm putting close together so i wouldn't wear these these are fun yeah every time she wears these <laughs> these are fun they are fun i love those the low and i have them in white yeah definitely not working with the lipstick they're not working right with now. the lipstick at all no <laughs> holy crap they don't work with the lipstick at all so just like <laughs> right there you go just do that and then it's not as bad <laughs> okay. all right so that's that. All right. What are we on so to now? Bags? On to. All right. Let's do bags. Bags. Ah! Hold right. on. Let's I think we already know what my favorite back. is. The favorite bag. Careful what you step favorite. on. I'm not if you step on the on bag, them. I'll. I'm not stepping on them. Bags are difficult because Karen has the, Look into most the camera. insane bags. Like she has really good bags. So bags are difficult. Let's see what she has here. My favorite for sure. And this just has to be. Wow. He's going to pick the best. This is the best purchase that I made of 2022. Um, look at them all first. You're missing one. It's you're, what I purchased. Missing... It's what I purchased, remember? That's the key. Uh, Not what you purchased. Oh, see, that's the one I was looking for. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, I was well, looking for the one that I got. This. He was looking for this. <laughs> but this is about the best purchases that I made. Wow. <laughs> yes, this. That, All right, so 2022, yes. best, best purchase. Okay, because that was because it was me. All right, so yeah, that was if it was Michael for you, it was for you. Which was amazing. Uh, I still can't believe how you got that. that I, a, I won't. There's I won't. a story time on TikTok of how he got that bag. So check my TikTok out. There's like a, a menu at the top of my TikTok profile. And just go to the one that says story time and you'll see the story of how Michael scored that Kelly 25. But that was your purchase. But for me, I what's know. my best purchase? And the thing is, is I can't, I can't do... Uh, what, what? No, 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 speak from the... Because I know what her best purchase is. Her, her best purchase is definitely the mini Kelly. Hands down. Like, hands down. Right there. Yeah. It is, actually. Okay. Because it was so... And I, I have to admit, I got it. she uses the crap out of it. I Secondly, do. I... <laughs> I do personally love the baguettes. That's the best. Best purchase of 2022. Beautiful, beautiful Fuchsia. baguettes. Oh, I thank really like you. Them. This was also picked up in Paris. A lot of things were picked up over there because it's just so much less money-wise. Yeah. You save yourself literally 
this was over a thousand less in Paris. The Hermes thousands, not even one, plural, multiple less in Paris. Same for anything that's luxury. If you're ever over in Paris, it's just much cheaper or just go the pre-loved route. But this was, to Michael's opinion, my best bag purchase of 2022. The purple is not included in this video, you know, the famous Carry Sex and City one, because I got there in 2021. So that's technically doesn't qualify. All right, so what is the worst? This is the best purchase of 2022. Worst. What is the worst purchase of 2022 for, for my bags? Well, I don't want to jump on the bandwagon. No, be honest. But. Be honest. Only because of recent events. Oh, really? Only because of that? Yeah. I wouldn't classify it as the worst purchase, but because of recent events. Gotta do it. The Balenciaga Le Cagol. And this one broke. The strap actually came off from here. And I think I talked about it before on YouTube and on my TikTok right there. This stud came off on this side. Um, whilst I was at the airport, um, this was about five months ago. Anyway, see, so, so that would be that would so definitely classify as worst, worst purchase. Worst purchase. And that's without all of the nonsense. And that's going even on, yeah, right? that's even without everything that's been going on with Balenciaga. So yeah, that alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I do. I'll give an honorable mention. Um, as best or actually, worst. Best or worst? What are you talking about? Best. Honorable mention for best. Oh. oh well, like, I'm surprised, but you know what I do. I know like this. this combination. It's so cool, and I don't even wear these kind of bags. I love that you're doing this. Oh yeah, look at you showing off the bag. It actually looks pretty good on you with your what you're wearing. Okay. It goes. It goes with what you're wearing. Yeah, see, it doesn't work like that. Nah, the, you want to have it like up here. Yeah. Like up here, like. But see, this is too big. Yeah. That's why I like my little baby. Yeah. My baby saddle. Yeah, yeah. he has his own little but, saddle, and it's gorgeous. It's cool. Yeah. Bad, the color bad. combination works with what you're wearing because it's wearing navy um, cargos, so it looks good with this. That's so cargos. cool. Cargos, these are jeans. Oh yeah, you got your, oh you've changed. Oh, you've yeah. jeans. Well, it works with that too. These are my fancy jeans, my Zara. Uniqlo, Zara. These are Zara. Oh, the Zara's. They're yeah. really good. These jeans. These he are, needs. Uh, to, this is part of his haul. Trust Rigid me. denim, really cool. I needed some shopping, and so, that was one of the things that I did. I got some pants. I got some. Got you got some really good things. Again, comment below if you want him to do a, a haul because I can include that. We can do a his and hers haul. Like I still show stuff that okay. I've got and then you go show stuff that you've got. <laughs> That's like I can't even say it, but let me know in the comments below if you want that to be a video because we can do it. All right, so that's it. Wow. All right, so we're done. For the best and worst bags, shoes, sunglasses, jackets, coats. All right, Moving so we're just, we're just fix fixing things up a little bit. So moving on, last category, which is drum roll, please. <laughs> Best clothing item of 2022 that I purchased. Mm. So again, just to remind you on camera, because I just did it off camera, just so he could like familiarize himself. So it's this, the two farm Rio dresses, mm -hmm. jeans, jeans, yep, this yep, top. Yep. So I'm going to break this out into two categories. Let's go. Let's, One, let's we go. have to go with the dress in the evening wear because that's going to be the long. I, you just wore this, and wow. I tell you, this, this, this jump. Oh my jumpsuit. god. Okay, this, this is this is what best of best. best. Oh, hands down, okay. best for night dress, I guess, if you will. Like it's a jumpsuit. Evening, <laughs> evening wear, right? Like, but this. Oh my god. Her body in this is like. This is body. <laughs> gorgeous on. It Hands is. Down. I will say, and it comes with a belt, and I didn't even wear it with the belt, but it does come with one. It's stunning, and it's one of those things that you know you got that special event to go to, and you want to wear something special. You wear this. You can't be wearing a pencil behind my head. I gave it to you. I didn't say put it behind your ear. <laughs> All right, so that goes as the All right, best. So that of, is best of evening wear. I've already shown this on on my probably on my TikTok at least. But as Instagram as you so. know, I'm a huge fan of the farm Rio. Oh, you want to pick one? If I, I guess had this, to is, pick, this is an honorable mention. So I yes. feel like there's different categories. He's ignoring me. I know I am ignoring her. And this is is this what category is this? Like casual, I don't know. 
That's like evening wear, so you can't compare that okay. evening to day wear. To I know day. what you're saying. Right. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Like, but these Farm Rio dresses, oh my God, they're so cool. Like, yeah, I don't even know how to pick they are, one. Um, they are cool. They re I just these are my it. two of 22. That so, right. No, I didn't. Anyway. If I had to pick out of the two, I would say this. Me one. too. Me too. Oh, let's give her a sink. Best, like, casual wear for best of clothing wise for 2022 goes to in michael's opinion the farm rio dress i love this one it may still be be available i'll definitely link it below if it is i'll link anything below if it still is but this is gorgeous when it's on it has cap sleeves it has like tiered ruffles going all the way down it's beautiful color combination i call it a winter floral because it's black with like the color colorful flowers on top hmm. so good with like ankle boots I the way i wear it this at the bottom the way this comes across that part yeah, yeah it looks so nice yeah i don't even know if it comes across in okay you have to see it on yeah i'll show you that's on the, the thing about farm rio dresses too. as well when they're on that's when you see the beauty of them. i agree it's hard to see when they're hanging on a rack like how nice they are on a rack but on a hanger yeah and so what i do is in winter time because it's v-neck i just wear black polo neck underneath it and it looks super cool. I'll show you here on the cutaway some images and video of me wearing it. Super cool dress. I love to wear it. With so that's that. Boots. But casual wear. That's, that's. I do have my favorite, and I, I thought that was it. That's not. That that's like summer wear. Casual wear is more. Oh my God, he's making subcategories of best. Okay, what's what's the next? It's because I really like them. Okay, that's that's fine. The West jeans. <gasps> That I mean, I love my jacket. Yes, I, I wear the crap out of my jacket. Yes. That's how much I like it. This is actually a menswear brand. But they this do... looks so cool on her. Thank you, thank you. All right, so he picked this as one of. Well, I don't know what category this is. Like casual. casual, casual, best casual for clothing. I love how you pick like categories of things now. Like more <laughs> categories. It goes to my West jeans, spelled O U E S T. I got this from Le Marais in Paris in September and it has an apron front so it's called the apron jean. A bunch of you have bought it as well because the brand reached out to me and told me that um, they've had quite a lot of orders and they thanked me for it so I'm really happy and it's a great jean. It looks so cool on. It has half into like details. Every time I wear these jeans I get compliments and they just look badass on mm. and not too many people are wearing them and that's to me is what I like as well. It makes me feel unique, you know, so, and I have them in beige because I like, like them so much, but the, obviously the blue ones to me are the best. Oh, I'm glad you like them too. Aww. All right. So worst, 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 they're not my favorite, but the big bulky jeans. Okay. Let's, let's hold them up. The big bulky jeans. He's referring to these. They're Margiela. I know she likes them. She wears them all the time. Me. <laughs> I just... They're super wide super wide i mean like i have big feet and they cover my feet do you, have, do you have like that grandma that like wears clothes that she bought when she was 40 and she shrunk down to like you know half a size that's what these are <laughs> i'm gonna leave that right there <laughs> all right so that's the worst purchase uh, relatively speaking yes because there's really okay. no worse purchases. That's fine. Honestly. You're very good at you're very good at shopping. So. Oh, thank you. Yes. But. Um, yeah. All yeah. Right. So I wouldn't say. All right. Worse purchases, because worse would mean that like you shouldn't have bought it. Right. Like that Balenciaga bag. You right. shouldn't have bought it. Yeah. So. That's it. that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm not gonna force any more picks because he's literally looked at what I got from 2022. Um, I got to put it all away now. But that is it. I don't know where we're going to put it because there's no <laughs> I know. Anymore. This house is like a mess. <laughs> we're upside down, people. Upside, upside down. down. Boy, you turn me inside <laughs> out and round, round. Upside down, you turn me. You give me love respectfully. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know. Upside down, you turn me. You give me love. Da -da -da. Oh my God, that's so bad. <laughs> But you know what? It's so badly sung. At least Diana Ross can't come for me and her lawyers and say, oh my God, <laughs> this is, she's, she's copyright. She's singing her song. Right. I'm not going to get demonetized. Let's put it that way. That is it, my loves. That is the best and worst 
of last year, 2022, my purchases yes. through Michael's eyes. Through my Let eyes. Let me know if you agree with his choices and comment below as well. What is your best and worst purchase of 2022? That's the first thing I want you to do. And the second thing I want you to do is to give this video a like if you found it amusing. <laughs> All right, I'm taking my best laugh. purchase if away. If you thought it was a good laugh, just, just thumbs up the video. I'm taking um, my best purchase away can, right that now. That way we can see. No! Oh my God! <laughs>